The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Is this fabulous or what? Chad is going to be living here right over our very own garage and I can see him anytime I want. It's great, Simone. I think our relationship is really going to take off from here on. I just know it. You know what? I still don't think this is a very good idea, Simone. You know how Mom feels about us hanging out with Chad. Mom agreed to let Chad live here, did she not? But she didn't agree to have you chasing after him, now did she? I won't have to. He's already told me he loves me, and I should thank you for that. Because if you hadn't caused him to lose his apartment, he wouldn't be living here now, now would he? Look, I just called the city so that they could, you know, clean up the place. I didn't mean for the building to be condemned and for Chad to lose his apartment. Well, that's old news now, isn't it? The most important thing is Chad will be living here full time and he and I will have no more obstacles. Except mom and dad. They like Chad. And I think it's wonderful that Chad's going to be here, don't you think, Kay? Sure. Wonderful. As long as I can keep Whitney away from him, since I know he loves her, not you, Simone. Well, I'm all set. Got my own key. And I just signed an agreement with your parents. They made you sign a paper? No, no, I asked for it. Look, I want this to be just like renting my other apartment, right? No favors, no handouts. I take care of myself. Then it's official. Chad is moving in. I think it's wonderful. I really don't want to go to lunch with Gwen and her friends. I don't blame you. So, Teresa, it's all set. Ivy was happy to give you to me for the afternoon. We are like the three musketeers, all for one and one for all. Oh, and soon, very soon, we're going to see the fruits of our labor. I am going to have the most wonderful wedding in the world, to the best groom in the world, and with the best maid of honor in the world. God, I, I can't believe how happy I am. I am going to be... Mrs. Ethan Crane. God, I just, I can't believe the day is almost upon us. And Teresa, you should definitely be the godmother to our first child. Godmother? Of course, I mean, who is better than Teresa? Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, then it's all set. Oh, Teresa, I just, oh, I just want us to be the best of friends forever. And, and of course, we are going to find you the perfect man, and you're going to have the most absolutely fabulous wedding, and We'll all be friends, and we'll be completely inseparable. Well, Gwen, uh, we really need to talk. I've been trying to tell you something for days, but this can't wait another minute. All right. Ethan, what? What are you dying to tell me? Did you speak to Sheridan? Uh, uh, yes, and uh, you, you don't need to worry. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Don't leave that cottage until you're absolutely sure Sheridan and Luis cannot get together. The future of the Crane family depends on it. Sheridan, I had to come back. And I had to try one more time to convince you that I didn't say those things. Why would I fly all the way to Paris to save your life if, if I was only using you? Why would I follow you and, and annoy you and, and do everything I could to keep you safe if I was only using you? Why would I jump out of a helicopter and hurricane force winds if I was only using you? Come on, Sharon. You gotta believe me, I didn't say those things. Sheridan, do you believe me? Do you? Please say you do. Of the one who could see.
Chad, this is going to be so fun. You can eat dinner with us at night, we can watch Olympics together, we can hang out, Whoa, whoa, Simone, music. Simone, Simone, slow down. Look, the only reason I agreed to take the garage apartment is because it's separate from here. All right, I got my own entrance, so you guys won't even know I'm there. But we want you to feel like you're a part of the family. I appreciate that. But it's just temporary, all right? Once I find another place, I'm moving. But why? I just think it's for the best. Well, I'm glad you're here, however long it may be. Thanks. Listen, I better go get settled in. Well, this is the best thing that could have happened. You know, Chad and I can get even closer. And then maybe when he finds an apartment, he can take me with him. And then we can move in together. I'll take those. Uh, yeah, thanks. You're dreaming, Simone. If anyone moves in with Chad, it'll be your sister. And if you lose Chad, you won't help me get Miguel. I have to keep going with my plan to drive Chad and Whitney apart for good. Ethan, what is it you're trying to tell me? Gwen, I've been trying to tell you for days now. I know you have. Just tell me. Gwen, I think... all to yourself, but you're just going to have to wait until your wedding night. Oh. Uh. Right now, Gwen belongs to us. <laughs> That's right. Friends are for now, but, but sisters, sisters are for always. <laughs> when a gamma girl gets married, she needs her sisters by her side. There is no girl more beautiful than an Elsa and Gamma Pride. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we were up to long gammas. Oh, those were such happy days. Well, I see the rituals haven't changed much. <laughs> This rich girls have been acting like this forever, Mama. It's amazing. Look, girls, really, I hate to interrupt, but I really need to talk to Gwen right now. Oh, you'll have plenty of time to talk on your honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> they better not be talking. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's get her. <laughs> I can't believe any of it. I've never seen anything like this. I can't believe I still haven't told her. I mean, every time I try to tell her about you and that I'm calling off the wedding, I get interrupted. It was as if fate were stopping me from telling her. No, it's not that. I believe in fate, and I know it's what brought us together. It can't be fate stopping you. Well, something's going on. And the longer I wait, the worse it's going to be. But I can't just drag her away from her sorority sisters. No. There's so many of them. All I know is that I have to tell Gwen before the big party your parents are throwing for us tonight. What's going on now? They're still talking, Father. I'm trying to hear what they're saying. Look, Sheridan, I swear on my mother's life that I never said those words. Please say you believe me. Uh-oh. What? What did you hear? Luis is making a very compelling argument. Sheridan might believe him. She does. We're all in trouble. Luis could discover our secret, and we cannot let that happen. How do we stop it? Simple. You'll kill him. Sheridan, I don't want things to be like this between us. I, I would never have said those hurtful things about you. Not to anyone. Come on, just look. Just, just please tell me you believe me. 
I do. I believe you, Luis. I believe you. Do you really believe me? I do. She believes in father. Well, this puts us in a very difficult position. The very thing that we're trying to prevent is happening. If Luis and Sheridan fall in love, they'll find out that we hired an actor to impersonate Luis. We're still Luis. We'll eventually dig around till he finds out what happened.